All right, guys, we're here at the all new travel trailer from Brinkley. This is Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is the director of marketing, correct? That's correct. And he's going to tell us all about this new travel trailer and all the highlights sure. that you guys need to know about. Well, Go ahead. since we're we'll already here. standing back here, we'll, we'll might as well start. All right. So this is the uh, 2024 Model Z Air 295. Uh, it's a bunkhouse model, so it has uh, a set of bunk beds in the back, uh, and it has two private rooms. Um, since we're standing here in front of the cargo area, uh, you have a large cargo space uh, that also passes through to the rear. Uh, back here, there's a flip-down divide, so you can divide your cargo into two bays, and uh, you also have outlets and motion lights. Uh, and then you have your tough ply flooring keep things securely in place. Yeah. Uh, all slam latch uh, baggage doors. Uh, I guess why we're here also, got our uh, a ladder. Look um, how solid this ladder is, guys. Super rigid. This is not like duty. your cheap ladders you find on other RVs. You've even taken the time to ensure that you're climbing up and you put the, the rungs up top in a comfortable position so you can safely and securely step aboard. And what size hitch do we have back here? Uh, you have uh, 3,500 pounds uh, of carb carrying capacity. Uh, so I'm gonna imagine that's a heck of a bicycle you're gonna carry That's there. a big, a couple of e-bikes. <laughs> but you do have power back there for additional lights if your uh, bicycles are covered. Uh, okay. Uh, while we're walking up, might as well talk about, uh, you know, we took a lot of the popular features that really made the Model Z so popular, including our residential style square windows. They're mm -hmm. frameless. Um, but they also, rather than opening like the other guys out there, three inches, they open up six so you get twice the airflow. Um, you have your uh, clean automotive exterior. So that yeah. means uh, the Brinkley seal package, so there's no silicone. That means that uh, you also get the clean graphics. Um, you get riveted skirts rather than screwed in, so yep. they don't vibrate loose over time. That's awesome looking. Suspension. Uh, you know, we've got uh, Goodyear, uh, Wrangler, um, commercial tires, they're 10 ply. 10 ply. So on an H rated tire? Uh, yep, E rated. E rated. E rated tires. Yep. So, E rated tires. Um, you get uh, all the uh, upgrades here at the entry. Uh, so you've got the, uh, the shade, the screen assist. Um, and the uh, bounce back and the screen guard. Yep, screen guard protection. Uh, then the extended uh, door handle that takes you all the way down to the bottom step. Three big wide steps to get you up to the interior. All right. Um, here, let's uh, go up to the front. We got a lot of unique things up here as well. So. More cargo space. You got, in fact, you got over 100 cubic feet of cargo space in this. Wow. And it's all very easily accessible. So a large pass-through. You have outlets. You have water, hot and cold hookups on either side of the coach. So whether you're uh, campsite or over here, you have that available. Uh, then also, just like in the Model Z, you have access to the basement with an easy slide away. So you can access everything in there easily without getting the screw gun out. Nice. Slam latch. So you still get your automotive uh, front cap with automotive paint, lens covers so that your LEDs are protected and last a lot longer. Then you'll notice the, uh, the big beefy box that's up here for your LP tanks. Yeah, look at this, guys. So you have. That's, is it 30 gallon tanks? Do you have uh, twin 30s? And then also on the side here, you can open up either side to access your batteries. You have room for oh, two. Oh, look at that. And then you well have designed. storage up top so you can keep tools and such up there. Or more batteries. More batteries. <laughs> now this is an auto lo leveling coach. And that's uh, through this system up here. Uh, auto level the entire coach right here. Yep, one touch, and then uh, you're uh, even down to your auto coupler, which is really nice that uh, you get a nice confirmation and it automatically latches for you, so that it's secure. Beautiful. 
And is this build number two, zero, 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 two? <laughs> uh, technically, this is our build number one of the Model V Air. Okay. Uh, travel trailer. In your water bay. Yep, and you get all the same upgrades that you actually, or rare to find in a fifth wheel, if at all. You get them all here in a travel trailer. You get your 65 foot of water hose, water hose retractable. retractable. And self-draining. And self-draining as you uh, pull it in. Uh, heck, even down to the aftermarket items. These little brass fittings come yep. from the factory rather than having to pay extra. Which all of you know, I highly recommend these when you buy a rig. They're already here on a Brinkley. Mm -hmm. Your second set of uh, hot cold, motion light, uh, a second outlet in the bay, and then you have dump valves for Look both your this, gray guys. and black. Push Electric push dump valves on a travel trailer. Who's thought of that? And a couple of things while this is open, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try to sneak in here. And that is notice all the fittings are brass on the water lines, not plastic. And this little silver hose here. That's for your heating. Now, let me tell you, this is not your typical heating duct. This stuff is like Hercules. You can't tear it. And it's thicker than the stuff you get on other rigs. The quality of this thing is unbelievable. And of course, there's some wiring harnesses there. And yes, they're all loomed and they're perfectly tucked away like it should be. They're all, uh, they're all labeled, the color coded and, and loomed. And there as we work back. You know, we even include uh, the clear cover just to keep surprises to a minimum. Yeah. Uh, your tankless hot water heater. Good cover cord. Uh, I think. Oh, uh, even here on the campsite. Oh, look at that. Campsite, you have a, a scare light. Utility side has motion. a light. Is it motion detector? It is. Look at that, guys. So, as usual. Brinkley has thought of everything, and we haven't even gotten inside yet. Well, let's go take a look inside. Let's go do it. I guess I should, while we're walking up here, I should mention that uh, your, all your floors are composite, so they're uh, durable and lightweight. Look at this, guys. So the interior is just as impressive as the Model C that it shares its name with. Uh, all your all your construction uh, in your kitchen and all your cabinets are all not just builder grade, um, but they're actually premium builder grade. So residential grade, excuse me. Uh, so they're finished on both sides. They're hardwood poplar with uh, uh, heavy duty uh, bottoms with heavy duty drawer guides, and hundred dovetail. pounds, dovetail on all the joints. And soft close. Soft close, magnet uh, magnet ledge. And then I guess while we're here, even at the island, we'll go over uh, some of the features that it, it hides. You know, large drawers are not all a ton of really small drawers, so you got a lot of flexibility and space. Then you have on this side a uh, paper, paper towel, towel holder that you can take out to the camp area with you or leave it out when not needed. Which is famous for Brinkley. They have it on everything and it's such a great idea. That is correct. Then, you know, a lot of RVs don't even include trash cans. And even if they do, they don't give you two. Trash and recycle. For those of you that recycle, well, let's be honest. For RV parts that allow recycling, which not many do as we all know. Beautiful. And you got your three, burn, three burner, uh, burner cooktop. Gas cooktop. Yep, residential 30 inch microwave. And then a 16 cubic foot. Oh. A 16 cubic fridge. foot residential refrigerator. In a travel trailer. In a travel trailer. Uh, guys, I gotta stand back just to get this all in there. Kevin, This is unbelievable, guys. This one you mentioned. On a travel trailer to see something like this, a kitchen like this with this deep galley sink. Yeah, you got your deep farmhouse sink. We include even the roller, so if you, uh, for drying dishes drying or in, in uh, adding countertop space. Um, you know, plenty of overhead storage, all with the same construction and quality. And then uh, while we're even talking about uh, some more of the construction, Brinkley Craft Sense, it's a way of how we put things together and construct things. The typical method 
of putting on fascia trim, let's say, is it's easy for production in most environments to grab a staple gun. The guy runs that staples all the way across it. The next department looks for holes, goes and finds a putty that matches, fills that in while that putty Correct. dries up over time. That it shrinks and it never even has the same sheen as the paint. Correct. So our method uh, eliminates nearly all those staples. So they're, they're seamless. They're far more secure. You know, do that on another coach. Very, very strong. Um, nice big pantry. A huge pantry, yep. And just like the Model Z, you have uh, actual hardwood shelves. And they're not just the cheap little plastic things that tend to right. break off over time. And These adjustable. Are, they're all adjustable, they're metal. And then we include a appliance outlet. I know for me, every time we stop, my wife wants me to make, uh, make coffee. That's right. I don't have to take the coffee pot out every time just to do that. So, bring us here a uh, little more piece to the island. Down here we have uh, dog bowls uh, that are included. Our friends all built in, like yeah. other Brinkley's. Uh, now this is standard on every Brinkley, right? Every Brinkley does come with uh, a set of pet bowls uh, for cats, dogs, whatever it may be. Um, in the travel trailer, uh, slightly different. Uh, these are actually magnetic, so you can take the whole container, take it, uh, take it outside. outside, and then when you're they uh, latch here for a safe place to store them and perfect roll around. Perfect. So here at the entertainment wall, you have a 5,000 BTU uh, fireplace, then a 50 inch uh, TV, but it's on an articulating hinge. So you can pivot this about anywhere, any direction right. you want. It's so ready you're for the sitting there, game. sitting at the chairs or tables, you got it right there. And then here in your uh, You've got theater seating, so you have uh, recline in three positions. Uh, you also have massage and heat, USB, um, USB storage, wireless, wireless charging. charging, and then when you're when you need a desk space or dinette, uh, we have a table which will set up here in a few minutes. Oh, look at that. It gets you a big table uh, right here to use. So you can sit down and watch TV. Yep, well, we also have two bar stools, which uh, I think someone may have robbed to go sit in somewhere. They must be that comfortable <laughs> that are here. That normally go right there. Yes. Track those down. Well, here, let's go uh, look back at Checking the bunkhouse. Now, in a uh, travel trailer this size, you, you don't find anything that has two private rooms. So not only do you have your master bedroom, but your rear has a private room Yeah, door. this is a game changer to me. Storage, all still the hardwood, heavy duty construction. And then two bunks stacked. You have TV prep. Though I know my kids, they, uh, they use their tablets all right. the time when they're back here. These are nice size bunks. How uh, deep are they? Could you fit an adult up there? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the uh, bunks in the back, let's see, 54 by 72, is it? 54 by 74. Okay. Two bunks back there. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> uh, you have uh, dual flush floor slides. You just, you don't find that too. That's uh, right, I didn't even notice that. Look so, at that, guys. Nothing, uh, nothing to have to hurt your back over trying to work at the stove. In a travel trailer, Step you've over. got flush floor slide outs. Oh, that is nice. No toe killers. So just in the room we're in, you have accent lighting around the back of the TV. Yeah. You have accent lighting above the island. Accent lighting around the island. And then you also have accent lighting above the uh, lights of, above the sofa. Guys, I'm sorry I'm moving the camera so damn fast. There's so much to see in this thing. And Jeremiah, you're doing a great job sharing yeah. everything with us. Oh, thank you. So while we're over here, you know, we talked about those residential style windows. There's now what that screen. did is allowed us to build the screens in so you don't have that telltale of an old RV. Right. Uh, the valances or the roller shades, the tie downs and all that. Um, you get a big open window, you can pull them down for your nightshades, pull them up for your day shade, or strands, and uh, open it up if you want as no I mentioned, shade. Most of the manufacturers out there that use your windows, well all of them, only use a three inch. Uh, the windows that we uh, help develop open up six inches, doubling your airflow. Yeah, look at that guys. 
how much that opens up. Unlike any other flip out window on any other rig. Okay. Fantastic. So uh, we'll take a step in the bedroom here in a few minutes. And oh, and we got a surprise there. guest. Hey there. Oh, I don't know. Ryan Miller <laughs> from Miller's in Motion. How are you, buddy? We're good. Good. We're filming. I'm assuming that so that's why there's uh, a camera. You're in there. <laughs> uh, Tim's in here from Alliance. Hey, how's it going? Oh, ah. All right. Oh, Let's go no, back sorry. to the bedroom. All right. <laughs> So here we are in the bathroom, which you do this in another travel trailer. Hey, why don't you come on in? Let me show you around. <laughs> you have wow. I'm 6'2". I'm a pretty big guy, but I certainly have plenty of room. You have residential shower heads with body wash and a handheld. Um, this is all one piece fiberglass, no uh, cheapening out with uh, separate pieces. Very nice. You have your... Uh, storage over top matching hooks and then just like in our other units your magnetic tp holder there so you can use it when you go to travel snap it in place perfect solid surface countertops additional lighting perimeter lighting around your mirror give you even lighting and then you have pass-through storage so you can utilize the space for oh you can also get in side. there from the bedroom yes sir Stuff. Look at that. Nice three drawers on the cabinet. You know, why I'm here, you wouldn't do it in a home and by not putting shutoff valves at every fixture. There's shutoff valves in every fixture here, so if you need to change plumbing. Just like every Berkeley. Right there. And no one else does that, by the way, that I've found. So, here we are in the, in the bedroom. So, you have uh, your TV prep, three flip down uh, hooks. hooks. That pass through we were just looking at. Plenty of deep, tall storage drawers. Look at that, four of them. Uh, plenty of storage on the side for more hanging clothes on either side. You have motion lights around the bed that you can turn on and off, and also for the motion and just on and off as you want. And then you have these giant, deep cubbies on either side. And what you can't see from here is that there's outlets and USB-C and USB, so that's an entire charge station. Let me see if we can see. sneak back here. That might be tough. <laughs> but it's back there if you can see it. All right. So CPAP machines or whatever, if you guys got them. Yep. But I love the cabinets over the bed. Yes. Cabinets over the bed. Yep. And then uh, oh, there's look your at that. Tools. Oh, uh, found the stools. They put them away already. So, not only is there space here, but go ahead and look around at other travel trailers. The space is typically not finished. Right. So everything's, if you wanted to store clothes down in there, you won't get any snags. And while that's up, you can see the little motion detectors down at the bottom of the bed there. Those are great at nighttime. All right, so I'm going to back out of here. All right. What else we got? So I guess as we're walking past, you're going to catch any little bit. Oh, even two hooks when you walk in to hang your coats? Yep. Residential, uh, you know, all of the paint in here is actually Sherwin-Williams. When we talk about a residential interior, an automotive exterior, it's not just a marketing term. And when you first walk in here, you go. got your control panel. Yep, there's your control panel. We have dimmers in the bedroom and in the living room. That's right here. We have a max air fan, um, all set up for you here in the kitchen. And then of course all your uh, controls for your slides, awnings, um, Bluetooth audio, which is built into the speakers. Yeah. Built into the ceiling, excuse me. Thanks for taking us on a tour of, this is the Z295. That's correct, the Z Air 295. Air, I keep forgetting the air part. And I'll give you a little secret that, that you could pass along. We'll have a new couples model coming up next in the next couple months. Awesome. And that's going to be model, same model? 285. 285. Yep. You heard it here first, guys. All right. With that, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks, Jeremiah, for the tour. We appreciate it. And on to the next Brinkley. Right. Thank you.